what is going on everyone badger here sure to like and sub and let's get into this uh you know assassin's creed shadows is a polarizing topic for many different reasons not just because black samurai yasuke whether he was a bodyguard whether he was an actual samurai with a capital s either way it's causing people to feel some things and most of uh, the response i would say is because of how ubisoft has handled it uh, handled it rather the gaslighting uh the accusations uh it's not going over well and so it's leading to some pretty spicy talking about it online and while ubisoft tries to say oh no it's just a couple of a uh, small vocal uh, minority well you know thanks to some actual analytic uh here we go a new player sentiment analysis uh, conducted by player xp contradicts ubisoft's claim that assassin's creed shadows has positive community sentiment when you get into the actual numbers it appears it has anything but uh so we see uh player xp's community sentiment report for assassin's creed shadows disputes the claim company finding that the overall sentiment calculated which represents the voice of players is negative 13 uh breaking down the player sentiment by social media platform it had a negative four here let's just go into this actual has a negative 14 sentiment on youtube negative seven on twitter the only positive sentiment being on tiktok and i think we know why uh and i guess this goes of the sentiment scale from a negative 99 to a positive 99 so i mean not the worst but still not great uh facebook page of course you can see uh <laughs> negative 55 so it's total average sentiment is negative 13 which uh you know not of the highest variety down there but not doing well and you can see here their data so, uh, data sources overview our aim is to be transparent about how we collect and analyze data for this report player xp analyzed 129,633 interactions from various platforms to gauge player sentiment accurately the chart to the right displays all of them along with the sentiment scale at the bottom broken it down by the aforementioned sites uh and then here they go deeper into it with this one Oh, here's monetization. From their analysis, I saw that one of the primary areas of negative sentiment emerged around the monetization category. And that's, of course, because we've seen, as Ubisoft is want to do, and they're doing it with Star Wars Outlaws. Oh, and they have those down here, too. At the bottom is those predatory, you know, $130 for the Ultimate Edition, and you miss out on certain missions if you don't play that extra money. So the player community has voiced frustrations about Ubisoft's perceived, uh, perceived, prioritization of monetization strategies over player experience of course and then they take out actual gameplay that should be for free or you know came with the purchase of the game and they sell it back to you a part of those packs yes and it was suggesting that it uh players feel unheard and affecting their overall trust in ubisoft this data score underscores the data underscores the importance rather of addressing these reoccurring issues to improve community sentiment and rebuild a trust in future projects by listening to player feedback and making necessary changes and they do not but i mean look at that as far as uh, assassin's creed shadows monetization in terms of money negative 70 sentiment uh, Ubisoft itself, never 73, uh, how much they pay and have us pay. The Japanese, definitely not happy with it. Uh, oh, boy. And then here, of course, uh, they go to talking points most discussed. So here they go deeper into the most discussed talking points. Uh, they all have significant negative sentiment. And uh, so here we go. Japan and Japanese, and I'm assuming this is the cultural aspects, negative 36. Ubisoft, negative 39. Yasuke, so... Even if people want to say that uh, it's the biggest thing is everyone is just racist and upset that they've got uh, Yasuke as a black samurai, you can see that just uh, the cultural ruinations from Japan and Ubisoft itself are the largest negative sentiment. Uh, Yasuke, of course, being in the middle there and then the historical inaccuracies and just, I mean, it has a one as far as sentiment, but that just shows you overall how far Assassin's Creed has fallen. And again, you're talking to a guy who's played all of them, even Mirage. Uh, as lackluster as that was and it's just it they have fall they have fallen mightily uh, and that's because all of the people that actually got it understood it and love it they are long since gone uh, you see here they're just closing out it's highly likely that ubisoft knows exactly what this player sentiment is around the games uh even as they try to cope out of it during that last investment call you can see glamal responded at this time we can say that ac 
is high uh, among the the sellers of for the company so far. And like, yeah, you you can say that all you want, but the this uh, analysis and uh, the petition going against it, and just the online uh, the general discourse in uh, around it, yeah. Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm very interested uh, interested to see how much money it makes, how it sells. Because man, especially if it ends up on a Ubisoft or a Game Pass type thing at launch, I don't know. Word of mouth is a hell of a thing, and theirs isn't good. So let me know what you think about uh, all this. Be sure to like, share, and sub if you have done that. Thank you. If you're gonna do that, thank you. And well, bye.